All right, guys, I promised you that I had one more non-ham radio group to look at for preppers. This band is referred to as Mirrors, multi-use radio service. Okay, now the chief advantage of Mirrors is that this is part 95. That means that no license is required, whereas with GMRS, you have to pay for the $85 licensing fee that lasts for five years. With MERS, there is no license. Think of it as a modern day CB radio. Now MERS is much more effective in my experience than regular CB is. First off, CB is AM broadcast. Secondly, it's in the 11 meter band. So the propagation is not as reliable as it is from the FM band that the MERS radio uses. MERS radio is very close to the ham radio operator's two meter band. It is a VHF, very high frequency radio. One thing that many people see as a big disadvantage for mirrors is that there is a two watt power limit. I will tell you, however, that the antenna restrictions for mirrors are very similar to those of GMRS. Namely, that your antenna can be 60 feet above ground or 20 feet above the structure that it's attached to. And remember what I said in my earlier video, for VHF and UHF, height is might. So using a simple mobile radio like this one as a base station for my home, I've got a very good antenna on top of the house. Now I've reliably been able to talk distances of 10 to 15 miles with absolutely no problem on mirrors using only two watt radios on both ends. Now I was using a mobile radio is a base station and another one in a vehicle, but 10 to 15 miles was actually very reliable. Now with MERS, you also have the handhelds that are available. Now the two that I've shown you are actually kind of hard to come by. They're old Radio Shack units that were actually made for business band that once occupied these frequencies. You can find these fairly often on eBay. Another route to go is there's a company called Dakota Alert that makes quite a few MERS radios and accessories. Now one of the neat things about MERS is there's actually data communication that is allowed on the MERS frequencies. So one of the common things that these are used for is for driveway alerts and alarms. So you can have your communications and a perimeter alarm both set up on the same frequency. Like I said, the two watt power limit is not near as much of a hindrance as people think that it's gonna be because if you can get your antenna up high, you're gonna be able to communicate quite well. And one advantage that Mirrors has over GMRS is GMRS is a very short wavelength. Actually, in a heavily wooded pine area, GMRS frequencies are actually absorbed by the pine needles on the trees because the wavelength is so close to the length of a pine needle. This is one area where Mirrors will outshine GMRS. So now I've given you two very good options for emergency comms. My next video on comms is gonna be about ham because I think that's something that all preppers should look into. I understand it's hard to get the whole family into ham radio. That's why I'm presenting MERS and GMRS as a viable option. I personally use both of them. I do plan to do some more in-depth and some demonstrations on both GMRS and MERS. Those will be forthcoming. Guys, as always, thanks for watching the Alabama Owens channel.